satellite subsystem. This is your uh, secondary satellite subsystem. Just so suppose if you are looking for your satellite subsystem, we will uh, see what are the different blocks that we are having in the satellite. So we can classify the satellite in different blocks. First one is your attitude and orbit control system. So this is the first block that we can have. We can have telemetry, tracking, command and monitoring. These we can consider as your second block. We can move for your power subsystem. That is your third block. We can move for your communication system. Here, as we are discussing about your communication satellite, you will have the communication system. So here we are focusing on your geosynchronous satellite. Okay, and that is for your communication purpose. So that will be your fourth block. And finally, we can go for satellite antennas. So antennas will also make one block. Now if we are going for the satellite, satellite means it is not only the satellite. The complete satellite system consists of the satellite in the orbit station. So some part you will have in your satellite and some part you will have at the orbit station. Okay. Now, just suppose if somebody is asking about the cost of the satellite. So cost of the satellite is not uh, limited to uh, what is the manufacturing cost. It is not limited to that one. So suppose if you are going for uh, knowing that uh, what will be the cost, the average cost it will be around your 150 million dollar. So we can consider it that uh, in Indian rupee it will be around your 750 crores. In Indian rupee it will be around your 750 crores that will be the average cost of your satellite. But if we are having the satellite then only our work is not complete. We have to go for launching of satellite. So for launching also we have to pay. Okay. And once if we have launched the satellite, then we should have the earth station. So earth station means it will be office from where we are controlling the satellite. So there we have to recruit the employees. Okay. Now if we are considering the average life of satellite as 15 years. So in that 15 years duration, what are the different costs that we are having? We are having the actual cost of the satellite, we are having the launching cost, we have to consider the earth station cost. So we are giving the salary to the employees and they are controlling the satellite. All those things will also be considered as the cost of the satellite. And after that, in that 15 years duration, we have to generate the revenue and whatever the revenue that we are generating it should be such that it should be more than whatever all these costs are and after that if some amount is there that will be the part of the profit ok so here if we are going for your satellite subsystem you are having the attitude and orbit control system here attitude means say suppose you are knowing that you will have the satellite and they are following the orbit so they will have the elliptical orbit, that elliptical orbit the satellite has to follow. But it may be possible that because of one reason or other or from external uh, forces, the satellite may divert from its original orbit. So that is the attitude. So we have to consider this, that whether it is following the orbit or not. So that is the attitude and the orbit control system. So if it is diverted from its orbit, we have to control it. Okay, we have to control that one. So that is the first block. So our target is that what are the communication satellite that you are having, it should rotate in its orbit. It should not be affected from some external forces. Okay, that is the first block. Second block is your telemetry tracking command and monitoring. So here if you are seeing this telemetry tracking, uh, this uh, block we can divide it into two groups. Uh, one it is there for your satellite. This uh, telemetry means uh, it will be there for the satellite and here tracking command and monitoring. Uh, this will be there at your earth station. Okay. So, Telemetry, it will be there 
for your satellite and tracking, command and monitoring this will be there at your earth station. So here in telemetry what is happening that the signals are transmitted from the satellite. Generally we are going for the digital signals. Okay. So digital signals are transmitted from the satellite. So how the signals are transmitted? The satellites are having a number of sensors. From those sensors, the signals are transmitted. And if the, if the signals are transmitted from the sensors, that will indicate the health of the satellite. That yes, the satellite is in a good working condition. Okay, that is your telemetry part. So telemetry means the signal from the sensor of the satellite. Then you are having tracking, command and monitoring. This tracking, command and monitoring, these you will have at your earth station. How from the earth station we can go for tracking, command and monitoring. If we are going for this uh, tracking, command and monitoring, we are having the different parameters that we have to consider. We have to see the range, we have to see the elevation angle and we have to see the decimal angle. So these are some of the parameters that we have to consider while tracking the satellite. So we have to see that whatever the range is there, elevation angle is there and, and the decimal angle is there, whether the satellite is having the required whatever all these angles are, it is present or not. If there is any deviation from that one, then there is a need for your command and monitor. So here, if it is diverted little bit, then we have to consider the parameter and how to change it. Okay, so for that you are giving the command. Okay, and after giving, giving the command, we have to see, we have to go for the monitoring that whether the satellite now it has been moving in the uh, original orbit or not. Okay, so your tracking, command and monitoring, this is continuous process. It is your continuous process because as the satellite is moving in the orbit, we don't know that when it will be diverted from its orbit. Okay, so for that, continuous tracking is required. And for tracking purpose, those parameters you are having. Ray television and decimal angle. Okay. You are having the power subsystem. Power subsystem, this is the third block. Okay. So, for uh, power subsystem, what we are doing? We are going for the solar cell. Solar cell, so it is providing the required power for the satellite to operate. Initially, what is happening that you will have the launch vehicle, and from the launch vehicle, the launch vehicle will launch the satellite in the orbit. And after reaching the orbit, now it is the satellite, uh, it is the satellite who has to generate its own power for the operation. So you are having the different electrical blocks. So for the operation of those electrical blocks, there is need of power. And how those powers are generated? Those powers are generated from your this power subsystem. And how we are going for this power subsystem? Your power subsystem. Here we are having the solar cells. We are using the solar energy that is used for the purpose of power. But here your power subsystem it is not the main block. It is not the main block. It is just the supporting. It is just the supporting. As uh, we are considering the communication satellite. In communication satellite, this power is just supporting the communication satellite okay so as we supporting we can say this uh, as housekeeping also okay so your power subsystem can also be considered as housekeeping okay so it is not the main block it is just the supporting block for your communication satellite next block is your communication system so as your, in your communication satellite, your communication system it is the main block. It is the main block. Okay. So if you are considering your communication system in your communication satellite, it is just part of that one. If you are considering that how much space it is occupying in the 
your uh, uh, communication satellite is just taking a part. Hardly 10% part will be for your communication system. Okay, remaining are just the supporting blocks. And finally, we can go for the satellite antennas. Satellite antennas are required for transmitting and receiving of the signals. So, if we are going, uh, say, uh, it may be possible that the satellite may be operating for one particular frequency. If the satellite is uh, going for one particular frequency, then uh, the satellite can go for your C band and uh, we can go for your KU band. This is C band and this KU band, these come under your micro frequency ranges. Okay. So, if uh, we are having just, uh, just we are focusing on one particular frequency, then we one antenna will be sufficient, and that uh, we can go for your C band and we can go for your KU band. These are allotted for the satellite communication. If we are having multiple of frequencies, if we are having the multiple of frequencies, then at least four antennas are required for the services. 